Hey guys, welcome back to iCraft MC! In today's episode, we're going to be going to the village and building a villager breeder. But before we do that, we're going to make today's banner of the day. Today's banner starts with a black banner with a gray field mason, which is this pattern right here. Next, we're going to go on to a white fess, which is this pattern right here. Then, we're going to go on to a light blue perfess, which is this pattern, uh, this one right here. Then we're going to end off, last but not least, with a black border, which is this pattern here. And you can see what that is, it's a cell phone, so I thought that was a really cool pattern, and I think it's really awesome to have uh, things from real life in Minecraft in a kind of banner art form, so that's really cool, and there it is. What you can actually do is you can put that on, a, on an item frame, and it'll actually be the size of a cell phone, so there's that. Anyway, we have all our supplies together for the uh, for the villager breeder and all that. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over here to our railway station and take the train over to the village, which is awesome. Now I think Gemma Locus is already there. She's been working on uh, uh, beautifying the village and working on some other things like that. So hopefully we'll be able to meet her there. And yeah, we're just going to take the train here and head over to the village. So, uh, yeah, I built this village, uh, this train track to the village, I think about two episodes ago, and I really like it. I think it's a really nice thing. I'm just going to turn down my volume here real quick of friendly creatures. That's what minecarts are. It's quite loud, and so I don't want that to be, uh, be a little bit too loud there. Um, I wish the minecart sounds a little bit quieter. I mean, I know it's supposed to be realistic, but it's quite loud. But, uh, anyway, it's actually a rather slow minecart trail, but... There we go, we can see our house disappearing in the distance there, and our awesome laboratory there. And we're heading on our way to the village, so... Yeah, I think my plan is to build a villager breeder rather close to this railway line here, because then eventually, if I do want to um, uh, move villagers from this village over to my house, uh, then I can do that, which is really cool. So we're just going to park in here. Alright, and I have a chest here full of... Uh, well, not full of, but having some minecarts in it, so we'll place that there. So I'm thinking just about here I'm going to build it. So I'm going to start by building the villager breeder and then I will get the villagers into it. And that part I may have to do a couple cuts for since uh, it's rather annoying to move villagers around uh, even if you're really good at it. So we also have some supplies here to trade with the villagers. So I'll just grab those and do a bit of trading because uh, why not? Oh and there is Jonas on his donkey and there's Gemma Locus. Hey Jonas we haven't seen you for a while and Gemma that's awesome. Now, I think there's a Fletcher around here. I don't remember where he is, though. I don't remember where a lot of the guys around here are. It looks like Jim is right in the middle of something, but I'm going to trade with this Fletcher just a bit because I want to get myself a bunch of emeralds. And the reason why I'd like that is because um, I want to get myself some bread for the actual villager breeder because we actually need a material to feed the villagers uh, so that they breed. So that's really important. And I think he's leveled up on me. Let's see him level up again. Uh, okay, there we go. So he's actually lowered the price uh, from 32 sticks to 31 sticks. So uh, I'm sure I'm getting a lot, a much better deal there, which is <laughs> not really a better deal at all. But there's that. Uh, these guys want, when he sells bread, yeah, here we go. Perfect. And I'll just buy as much bread as I can. That's perfect. All right. That stack and a half. Awesome. I think another one of these guys will uh, hopefully want to sell bread as well. I'm not sure. That guy doesn't. Uh, that guy hasn't restocked, so that's fine though. And I also have a nitwit uh, captured here because he's going to be one of the two villagers. Since obviously because he can't get a job, he's uh, not really very useful. So uh, he's perfect for a villager breeder though, which is awesome. So we'll go over here and get that bread in there and also these sticks. And we'll do some more trading later. So for now, we're going to build this villager breeder. Uh, what we basically want to do is want to get ourselves some glass. Uh, we'll need the rails later, but we mostly want the glass and the beds, as well as these droppers, redstone, levers, uh, spruce, um, fence gates, and spruce trap doors. So we're going to probably put the villager breeder probably here. <laughs> and what we're going to do is, um, yeah, put it here. So we're going to have the tube where the villagers come down. So that'll be about here. And we'll probably get rid of some of this later, but there's that. Make it up one more. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a trapdoor and put that trapdoor right uh, there, I believe. Yeah, that's perfect. And then we're going to make this basically go up like this. Yeah, you're not. Actually, do you have any trades? Yeah, you do have some trades. So I won't put you in here, but that would have been perfect. He's coming over to check it out. So we basically just go like that and then uh, kind of go up over here. So we basically have some walls so these villagers can't get out. 
but it's all glass just so we can kind of see them uh, and we can make sure that it's working correctly. So we'll uh, fill all that up like this. And what will happen is as soon as the villagers have bread, then they'll kind of drop down there. And uh, yeah, it'll work out perfectly. So we'll uh, fill all this in like that. Perfect. And then we're going to grab our beds like this and just basically place them down all like this so that they fit in and connect together perfectly. And then last but not least, we also want to get ourselves, well not last, but we want to get some blo a block there. Actually, I think a block about there. Yeah, so the, the baby villagers can go in, but the adult villagers can't. So we're actually going to make this a little bit taller. Uh, this will make it a little bit annoying to get in and out of, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. And then we'll get the villagers in there. And uh, that's not quite the whole design. What we also want to do is actually get ourselves some droppers in here. Uh, oh, <laughs> I fell in, but what I want to do is get the droppers to face uh, into here. So we'll get, what we do is get rid of each of these blocks on the corners here like this and then that'll basically give us room to put into these put in these droppers so that hopefully they'll all face the right way perfect like that like that like that like that then we're just going to fill in the edges and uh yeah we're going to put some glass all along the top so there's kind of a ring of redstone around here a ring of redstone i guess that kind of rhymes not really but put that around there and then what we're going to do is we'll have a switch so that every time we switch the switch uh, this redstone will be activated so what we're going to do is jump down here and grab ourselves just any transparent block. Let me see if I can actually find a nicer looking one in the village. I might just steal a bit of wood or I guess I'll take it from a tree. There's no point taking it from a, a villager house. We'll just grab some wood here that's going to come in super handy. And we're just going to turn all that into planks and then that'll be our not transparent block and that'll be what we use for the mechanism here. So what we're going to do here is that's going to go over like that and then we're going to have a switch that'll basically make the redstone current uh, the redstone current will go down a bit and this isn't the most beautiful thing you can of course make this out of anything you want but uh in fact yeah this could actually be glass but that's fine i think the way it is it'll also provide us a way to get up here so we're gonna go up like this this is definitely a function over uh beauty design but that's fine actually we'll go like that that'll be better and we'll place a block like this put ourselves actually we can get rid of that redstone even and get ourselves a lever uh, like this now what we're going to do now is get ourselves that bread again uh here it is uh, you can actually use a lot of different foods to feed villagers. I think the ones are carrots, potatoes, bread, beetroots, but bread's the best. So what it is is villagers actually need at least six uh, of carrots, potatoes, or beetroot to breed, or only just uh, one bread. So it makes it bread a lot. Um, basically just makes bread work a lot better. So we just divided that into four sections, and we're just going to put uh, one bit in each of these. And of course, ideally, you'd want these to all be full, but uh, that can take some time. So what's going to happen if we have wired this up correctly is when we switch this lever, that'll make bread all fly out. And then what'll happen is because it's kind of equally like that, the two villagers won't, like one villager won't just hog it all. And they'll grab that. And you may be saying, well, why don't I just give them a whole bunch of bread all at once? Well, the reason why you don't do that is because the villagers will actually give the bread to their child, uh, which isn't really a bad thing. But the problem is, is that what they'll do is they'll give all their bread to the child. And so basically what will happen is you can give them, you know, as many stacks of wheat as you want or as many stacks of bread as you want. And it'll end up that uh, suddenly here we go. We've gotten one baby, but the baby's gotten all the bread and the adults have given all their bread away so you don't get the adults to breed anymore so that's why you want to kind of uh, dole it out as necessary and then also you won't just get like tons and tons of villagers coming out when you have uh you don't want that many so check this little trapdoor here is actually really cool too what you can do is uh you can run a minecart track underneath here and basically make it so that the villager will be picked up so it'll kind of drop in here and then mature in this little tube here and then we'll pick it up with uh, a minecart track and we'll, we won't wire that up too much because we're not really to that part of this villager area yet but uh, we're just going to get this main villager breeder set up so yeah they basically mature and then uh, what we can actually do is replace this block uh, real quick for a oak plank because then it's not transparent so it can hold the redstone signal and we can use that to kind of flush them down like that which is kind of fun so we'll do that and then what we're going to do is basically just work on actually getting the villagers in this tank. So that part is uh, admittedly rather frustrating, but uh, you only have to get two villagers in, which is really nice. Uh, it's nothing like an iron golem farm where you have to get even more. And I actually forgot one other thing. So what I'm going to do real quick is also place a couple more beds up here, because the more beds, the better basically for the way the villagers work. Uh, in fact, you know what, I don't think this needs any more beds. What we can do is we can put uh, wood around here, and we can put the beds on the edges like that. Uh, we could also put glass, I suppose, 
Uh, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. Basically, just to get a bunch of beds kind of there, we'll, the more beds will basically make the villagers want to breed more, so it's a little bit easier. But uh, again, overall, it doesn't affect it too much. So we can get rid of that, and that'll kind of help that just somewhat. And of course, you can cover that up with, you know, some big building or something if you want it to look a little bit nicer. And you can basically use any blocks you want. Like, these don't have to be transparent. Yeah, I'm going to go to bed real quick here. I hope I still have one extra bed. I don't. I'll have to grab one of those villager ones, but that's fine because, uh, yeah, we don't really need all those there. Let's grab this one here and maybe break these blocks here. And we'll just go to bed here. Looks like it's almost bedtime. Not sure if it quite is. Uh, no, not quite. So, yeah, we're basically going to get uh, minecarts and boats to get the villagers over to uh, over to here. So there are enough villagers. There's some that don't have jobs, and then there's one nitwit. So I'm going to bring the nitwit over, as well as one of the ones that don't have jobs. So that should just work out perfectly. So we're just going to go to bed here. And in the morning, we're going to do that. Alright, this morning, I don't know if the game thought it was at first, we woke up and it was still dark, but that's kind of funny. Anyway, yeah, so these boats are going to be really useful. Um, the most useful thing, though, is going to be the minecarts, so we're going to set up a very temporary uh, small little track that'll basically move them where they need to go. We're also just going to quickly grab one more tree worth of wood, because uh, I need a couple more transparent blocks. Uh, you don't need good trades. Okay, what we're going to do is um, go up here, grab ourselves one more tree. Um, I think hopefully one of those villagers doesn't have a job. Um, it doesn't really matter if they do have a job. I just don't want to do one that's already really traded up. Like this one isn't, but uh, Mason's a pretty good profession. So I might move these guys. They're pretty close. But I really want to move that one nitwit because that's completely useless outside of a breeder. So I'm going to move that. Um, what I do is kind of just let them be uh, uh, get gotten in here, basically. So we'll let them uh, go in there. What we're going to do is make a... Oh, I <laughs> fell down. Uh, turn all these into planks and then uh, get ourselves a track that goes down like that. So this part's, okay, there it goes falling down again. But uh, yeah, what we're gonna do is basically make that part. So it might be a little bit hard to get up here actually because there's this redstone, we should be able to go like that. Oh, no, maybe not. We'll just break this bed temporarily to get up there. So it'll go like this and fall in. So uh, we'll go over to, and then we'll just go um, basically, oh, <laughs> that's funny, it hurt me way too late. But uh, anyway, we're basically just going to make this stair step down. In fact, we'll make it kind of stair step over to here because, yeah, and of course we can just get rid of this later. And uh, uh, the reason why we were actually able to build this build, although we don't have a lot of iron, is because I have a really cool rail making farm. And if you want to check that out, I made that a couple episodes ago. So we'll just uh, put these down here, put down ourselves a lever. And this lever here, again, we'll just power these. Actually, they don't really need power here, but that'll help power these uh, ones on the slope. We'll just use these normal rails and basically just move them over here. And we just have to get a villager in the minecart. And we're good now. Like, this guy, has he been traded with? No, he hasn't. So this guy's a prime candidate as long as we can get him in, which is certainly uh, negligible. I think that's the right word. But anyway, we'll get this minecart, put that there. And basically try and get him in. It looks like everyone's trading over here, which is fine. But we're going to want to get uh, this guy in, for instance. Now, I think the trick is going to be to get him in a boat. So we're going to put the boat. Let's see if we can get him over here. Uh, let's see, that guy's been traded with a lot. Now, as soon as this nitwit gets into um, a useful area, I think he's probably going to go over there, so we might have to get him later. But, uh, yeah, I'll probably, what I'll probably do is I'll probably cut ahead in the video once I've gotten the villagers, but I'll do a time lapse of, uh, of me coming from here to get the villagers in there, so you can kind of see approximately how long it'll take.
right, I've gotten both villagers into the villager breeder, which is awesome. It didn't take too long. What I want to do now is I want to basically uh, flick the lever. Also, get rid of this first. Of course, this isn't necessary at all um, later, although it is important to keep this piece of glass there. Because if that glass isn't there, then the villagers will fall down. But anyway, what we want to do is just get rid of all our uh, kind of rail scaffolding type idea. That we want to do is go and get the villagers to breed and that's really easy we just have to flick the lever a couple times and get some wheat out and or some bread out and then they will breed which is awesome so we'll do that uh let's say one two three four times should be good enough and uh yeah then you can see actually there's hearts there already we could even get a baby as soon as right now and that is almost bedtime so we're gonna have to be careful and aware of that but uh, yeah you can definitely see that they're in love mode there with the hearts which is um, really good to see. And hopefully we'll see some... Uh, there's a baby right there. They already bred, which is awesome. That's really cool. Yeah, they already got a baby. That's really cool. They got it already. Yeah, as you can see, it totally works, and it's awesome. So we're going to do something to go to bed here, and we can do some more work on the village in the morning. I guess it's not quite bedtime yet, but... Uh, yeah, there's the baby right there. So yeah, we can pick it up here eventually with a minecart. All right, here we go in bed. All right, here we are in the morning. So what we're gonna do is do some more work. Now this is basically done. What we're gonna do is uh, get some more work with that. Um, another thing we can do too, I actually forgot to do this, is to put a trap door in the middle. This will basically trick the baby into going down there, although he actually just went down there already. So not sure if how necessary that is, but uh, yeah, it can be pretty good. Uh, we'll just, looks like he was trying to escape there. Once he, oh, oh, I didn't mean to punch him. That was not a good idea. Okay, we're in a bit of a predicament here actually. That villager should not be where he is. Uh, we're going to have to solve this. We're going to start by flapping the trapdoor so he doesn't fall down. I uh, definitely should not have punched that villager. There we go. And then we're going to do... He's definitely uh, mad at me, which is unfortunate. Okay, now we fixed the problem. Yeah, it's really important to make sure they don't get down there. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually glad I made that mistake because I can show you how to fix it. So we'll go like that. And uh, then we're just going to cover that up. Yeah, it might be a little bit skittish for a while, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. And we can always just uh, flip the lever a couple more times, make them breed more. So there's the baby there, and you can see as soon as we're ready, we can flip uh, the lever, and then he will fall down into a minecart. So, for instance, we could just put a minecart there, flick the lever, and there he is in the minecart. So there's that part of the mechanism totally done. We're just going to finish off today by basically just doing a whole bunch of trading with villagers and getting ourselves a whole bunch of materials. But yeah, the main reason we're actually building this villager breeder is uh, not what you would think, which would be for more villagers for trading. It's actually for a iron golem farm I want to build soon. So I'm not sure when I'll get around to building that. Maybe uh, maybe some episodes, uh, a couple episodes from now, or maybe uh, quite a while from now. But uh, either way, it's really good to have a good supply of villagers since um, useful for a lot of different things, including iron golem farms and trading and all kinds of really useful things that uh, we're definitely going to need access to if this world is to continue to prosper so i think we'll probably just trade with these farmers is uh getting a crazy amount of potatoes for what we are getting it's a lot of potatoes for uh for one emerald but uh doesn't matter too much we can also buy some more bread from him uh because with that bread then we can uh trade the villagers more i actually forgot to bring my pumpkins and melons but that should be fine because there should be enough trades to do with these guys for now like this fletcher you can trade with him and get ourselves a whole bunch of emeralds. Great thing about a Fletcher is that sticks are obviously a very easy thing to get, so their trades really aren't a big deal to trade for. There we go, there's 16. Let's see if he's restocked. Uh, he has. He does carrots, which is awesome, and he also has a good price, which is uh, even better, so we can keep trading through that. And uh, once that trade is done, let's see how many emeralds we'll have. 32 emeralds. It's a lot of emeralds. Anyway, I think that's about it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to press the like button. And make sure to press the like button too if you enjoyed seeing Gemma and Jonas in this episode. So goodbye from me. And goodbye from Jonas Marriott. And goodbye from Gemma Lacus. Goodbye.